Hey guys, just wanted to show you a video. Um, we call it do-it-yourself dollar store Wayne's coating. Now, if you're familiar with Wayne's coating, uh, it takes a lot of time to measure it out and it also takes a lot of money to go and buy trim from your local Lowe's or Home Depot, whichever way you swing. This way you can actually do it pretty quickly and you can do it while saving money. So if you're anything like me and my wife, we don't have either time or money, so we try to do things as cheap and as quick as possible. Here we're going to show you exactly what you need. Here's a list of everything you'll need for this project. Everything you can get is actually at the dollar store. The only thing that you cannot get is the chair rail. You can get that at Lowe's. I believe it's 1 8 inch by 2 inches and it comes in 8 foot segments. But everything else you can just get at the dollar store. Now when it comes to painting this, this has like uh, plastic. It was more of a plastic, not a wood like normal picture frames are. That being said, we had to buy a plastic primer but we'll show you exactly what we got. We can leave a link in the description below to show you exactly which one to get. So um, if you look at this, you have obviously the glass. We had to take out the glass. And then if you flip it around, you can actually see that there's those little pins that keep the, the cardboard in to keep the picture in. We actually had to remove those. You can remove those with uh, just needle nose pliers. It's pretty easy and pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of time, but it worked. And here we just used a plain office mat that we weren't using and it worked perfect, keeps the paint, um, it just sticks to the plastic so it's not running everywhere. And then we just did six at a time, so it actually worked out pretty, pretty good actually. Here we, we wanted to do uh, two feet overall and then six inches apart both from the baseboard and from each other. But of course these measurements are up to you. This is kind of a good rule of thumb that we wanted to do based off our situation. So you can see we primed it with the plastic primer and then we mounted it um, by doing the six inch apart. This one was kind of weird because it was in a corner. So we just tried to do it in the middle as, as center as possible. But rule of thumb for us was every six inches apart from the, from the frames and also from the baseboard and from the wall. But this was kind of a, you know, we just had to do it in the center. In this one, what I did was I did two six inch blocks so that I could put it under the baseboard and then I could just easily put the frame on top of it and slide it under so I can make sure it's level. And then I did a separate six inch one that I could slide up and down the frame to make sure that they were six inches apart. And so it literally pushed it into place. In this picture, you can see there's some spacing in between the caulk and the frame. There's little holes. Normally little holes you can just paint over, over and over again, and they'll actually fill up. But these are kind of too big. So you gotta go over the caulk again. And then you just gotta use a putty knife and stick the putty knife in there and go up and down and just make sure you fill up all the holes and also that you scrape it all up or else it's gonna stick to the frame it's gonna look kind of weird so let's make sure it's clean and make sure all the holes are filled here you can see i'm finishing the painting this is probably about the third or fourth coat in i believe i did five just because i wanted a pure white and i want to make sure i got all of it because they were black even though we primed them still some of the black was showing through so i did an extra couple coats just in case because i didn't want any of the black showing through um, if you can get them in white, that's obviously better, but we could not find them in white, so we had to do black. But as you can see, the finished result, it actually turned out really, really well. We got 36 of them, so I mean it's 36 bucks, but as you can see, it turned out great. Um, we highly recommend doing it. Of course, we need to figure out what to do with the glass and the leftover stuff, but I'm sure we can figure out something. But with the frames, super simple, super easy. They're already put together. All you had to do is prime them, stick them on the wall, space them out however you were comfortable with, um, and then just normal, you know, gotta caulk it, gotta prime it, and then you gotta paint it. So as long as you have all the materials, you have a little bit of time, and you put a little bit of uh, money into it, of course, this is gonna save you a ton of time and a ton of money. Hope this helps. Leave a like and subscribe.